Welcome back, and thank you for watching Toledo's original 9 a.m. show. This time of year, you must be fashionable, and if that means wearing something, well, less than attractive, <laughs> you do it. Mark Lotzbecker from the village of Gibsonburg and Gibsonburg High School students, Sophia Rogers and Anthony Caprara, join us with a fashion statement this morning. And you all hooked me up. You heard me say that I didn't have my ugly sweater, so... Here we are. <laughs> it has a hood too. And it has a hood, so I can stay nice and warm today. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. This is something that you all have been doing for a number of years now, right? Correct, since 2014, we've had the ugly Christmas sweater run and walk in Gibsonburg. Okay, so who came up with this idea to put on ugly sweaters and go for a run? Um, it, it, it was a group effort. Um, you know, we identified a need in our community. Uh, young people needed needed presents at, at Christmas time and the food pantry needed help. Uh, so we came up with the idea of the ugly sweater run and walk uh, and it just kind of snowballed from there for the past eight years. All right, so Anthony, tell me a little bit about what people can expect when they come out. What should they wear? What should they bring? So of course, you gotta wear your ugliest sweater that you possibly can because <laughs> that's the funnest part of the event. But then just get ready to run, bring a toy, and possibly items for the food pantry. It's all about giving back to the community and having a fun time, so we're really excited for that. So, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of clashing, a lot of colors going on. Sophia, tell me what makes an ugly sweater ugly. Um, there's nothing that really can make it ugly as long as it's funny and you have fun wearing it. There you go, okay, so we wanna make somebody laugh. Is that a West Virginia sweatshirt? Are, are you trying to have, make a statement about? Well, you know, ugly season equals ugly sweater, so yeah, <laughs> there's not many of us mountaineers in this area, so I have to represent when I can. Okay, so you are a fan. I am, yes. Okay, all right, so you're not making a statement against, yeah. against the mountaineers, but no, you know, no. um, I think it looks fantastic. I think you all look fantastic in your We'll, we'll call it ugliness. I think that's okay to say today. Uh, how, for high school students, why is it important for you all to participate in something like this? Because it helps us get an early start to realizing how important it is to give back to your community and how important it is to make sure that everybody in your community is feeling nice and appreciated and make sure that they can have a great holiday and look out for your friends as well. Okay, yes, and it's fun too, as you mentioned, you get a good laugh. I see a medal, is that, you know, what are you wearing around your neck there? So. If you have the ugliest Christmas sweater, you can win this medal. And <laughs> it's a really fun thing to win. It's a pretty cool bragging right, I yeah. think, right? For you. Hey, look, I got the ugliest sweater. These That's the, really ugly, yes. isn't it? <laughs> These are the awards that we're going to be giving out this year for the run, so. Wow, you've mm -hmm. really amped it up this year, haven't oh, yeah, you? For sure. <laughs> Major awards. Yes. Major awards. So, you know, you're also going to have some great donuts out there. You know, there's, it's just going to be like a fun festive time, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, world famous Ideal Bakery Donuts mm. at the finish. Um, our good friend Sean Wingate will be there taking pictures along the course that he'll provide for free. Uh, Santa Claus will be there. Uh, it, it's just gonna, it's it's turned into just a great community, you know, get together to, to help. I mean, for one morning, everyone's Santa Claus. Yeah, you get to gift and you get to bring those things for people. Come together, have a good time, have a good laugh. Uh, do you need to register for this ahead of time or how do you go about participating? So you, uh, next Saturday, uh, December 10th, 9 a.m., Gibsonburg Town Hall, uh, you can just show up, uh, you know, with, with the toy. The entry fee is a new and unwrapped toy or non-perishable food items. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are race day shirts uh, that you can purchase extra. Uh, there'll be some there at that morning. Uh, the proceeds go right to the food pantry. Uh, so it's, you know, it, and pe people who run and participate, instead of, uh, you know, spend, instead of spending that $25 on a race entry fee, uh, go to the store, uh, you know, buy a toy, buy some food items mm -hmm. and, and, you know, help out. Yeah, it's Christmas time. I think we are kind of realizing too the last couple of years uh, there's a great need in our community and you know being students how does it make you all feel to be able to to give back and have fun this way? I'm really glad to be able to give back. I love having you know making everybody in my community feel good so to, to know that there's a need in the community and to be able to help out with that and be able to race which is something I love to do is absolutely amazing. Are you in it for the racing too or in for, for the donuts? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be in it for the donuts. Uh, how, many, how many years have you participated in this? Um, this would be my second or third year. Okay, and what are, you, what are you hoping for, you know, next week when this race comes up? I hope that there's a lot of people there and that it's, everyone just has a bunch of fun. 
with. I think they will, right? I think it's pretty safe to say. I, do you know about how many people come out to this every year? Um, right now, we're, uh, we're approaching 100 people that okay. we know will be there. Um, I mean, the more, the more the merrier. I mean, we, ju we just want, we want to see people, we want to see smiles, and we want to see, you know, the help that we can do. You know, I think that this is a unique way to celebrate the season. You know, people are always, you know, finding ways to give back and things like that. But this is, this is certainly unique where people can show, show off their personalities, I think, and um, really get out there. I, oh, look at these ugly sweaters. They're just so ugly, but it's so great, isn't it? It is. <laughs> All right, tell us once again when and where this is going on. Saturday, December 10th, 9 a.m., uh, Gibsonburg Town Hall, uh, North Webster Street in Gibsonburg. Okay, you guys ready? We're ready. You're ready to go. All right, you look great, too. Thank I, you. I think, you know, maybe you get to keep those medals. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Folks, thanks for coming in this Thank morning. You so Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. All right, well, stay with us. We've got more Good Day coming up after the break.